How's it going? And welcome back to the channel. Today, it's a cold morning and we have a change out. We got a split heat pump. I've got everything loaded up in the van, ready to go. So we're gonna head to the job site and get started. Let's do some work. This video is sponsored by RLS, original, patented, proven. And by Diversitech, helping you simplify your work. What's up, guys? What's going on? Hey. You guys ready to do some work? No. <laughs> and we got we got veto bags galore this morning, huh? It's a nice backpack you got there. So this is the guy where we're gonna be replacing today. We already mm -hmm. replaced the other system, so we're gonna see if we can sandwich this condenser right there. All right, so here's the air handler we're gonna be replacing. This thing is super old. I'm not sure what the actual age is, if it's a 96 model or what. If you guys uh, know how to decipher that serial number, let me know down in the comments. I'd like to know how old this thing is. So we're gonna be obviously removing this and we're gonna be putting in a um, like a wall mount style, so there's no actual return duct. That way, uh, it's more designed for this this space, since it's got a louvered door. It'll just sit right back on that platform and uh, hook everything right back up. Is it a train or is it an American standard? Who's to know? Huh? What'd you say? Is it a train or is it an American standard? Who's to know? Both. It's an American standard it's train. It's a train technologies, right? It's a train US Inc. Okay, so we look like we're pretty good without even using the tape measure. This looks like it's going to be really close to what uh, yeah. what's in there. Nice. So, I like that. Um, of course, we can go ahead and press and get the copper out if you want to do it. Remember we did it last yeah. time that way? Yeah, I like that. Um, I'll go ahead and get this heater kit installed as well. So because of the hill that's on the side of the house, it's close to us, we have to go all the way around. So I guess the plan is to remove it completely, or what are you thinking? I think we got to measure it. We might be able to use it. There's a little bit more duct work than I thought there was for the transition. We'll see. All right, so to get prepped for the new system, because uh, this is old R22, we're going to basically clean that suction line with a special tool. So this is by Hillmore. It's the uh, pipe cleaner kit, and it has all the different sizes, 7 8 3 quarter. Uh, five eighths, half inch, three eighths. And basically you just connect this to your suction line on the inside. And we're gonna put this little catcher bag on the outside here. And what happens 
you shoot these plugs through the lines from the inside all the way out and it basically cleans and removes all oil and it catches it in this bag. So that's how we're gonna get this line clean and ready for the new system. Hey Devin, you have any uh, like duct tape or anything where I can make sure this doesn't come off? Uh, not right here, I'm gonna go grab it. Either that or someone just hold it in place yeah, sure. so it doesn't just shoot off. All right, so basically, once you got everything connected, you just slide this back, little chamber. You put your plug inside there, close that back. And this just has a little finger tight uh, hose clamp to be able to get your friction fit on the, uh, on the copper. So you wanna get that. Whoops. Did that come out? <laughs> that was on accident. I guess I shouldn't have uh, turned the nitrogen on before I connect this guy. How does it look out there? The plug. Yeah. All right. So I got I got it connected now. That's a good tight fit right there. Get that hose clamp nice and snug. Go ahead and reload. Turn the nitrogen back on. All right, you ready? Here we go. How'd that come out? Nice. took with it nice second one come out cleaner way cleaner cool it's a cool little kit and then you can just get replacement plugs to refill your kit but i like it all right so i'm going to leave these guys to it for now i've got to run and go pick up some parts for some other jobs and get all this stuff cleaned up so, and then I'm going to come back and check on them and just make sure everything is done right and looking good and running smooth. So, got to head to carrier now. Stand it up. That's not what she said. All right. All right, so the customer is requesting to have that condenser moved. That way she has the pad nice and free and clear. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put this new unit right where Devin is, which is obviously really close to that other unit. But what we're gonna do is relocate that out here. So we're gonna have to basically extend the pad out um, and do that to where they're basically gonna be sitting one in front of the, each other, just like that. So I think that's gonna work out better, uh, better accessibility. And then obviously she has more room on her patio. quality comfort. I've got some parts on real call as well. See what I do for you guys. Thank you. You are. 
All right, so since it's pretty tight up here with this copper, we decided to uh, press on some RLS fittings because it's gonna be up, up like this. So it would, it would have been difficult to try to bend this copper. So we're just gonna use a 90 there. Um, anywhere we can bend, we do to save on fittings. So you just pressed on a coupling on both sides. So that works out pretty good. I like it. All right, man, do you need anything else for me? No, I think we're good. Cool. Let me know if, uh, if you end up needing something, but I'm going to head back to Murfreesboro. Do it. We're going to get this done. Right on, man. Appreciate your help. All right. So I'm just going to leave these guys to it. They are fully capable of finishing up here. So I'm going to head back to the shop, get this van cleaned out and organized, uh, ready for tomorrow. And then, of course, I got paperwork to do, so I don't want to be working super late. Um, so anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully you guys got something out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to the channel if you like what I'm doing. Appreciate you here being here watching the channel. Uh, definitely means a lot to me. So see you on the next one.